I don't have to tell you things are bad. Everybody knows things are bad. The dollar buys a nickel's worth. Banks are going bust. Shopkeepers keep a gun under the counter. Punks are running wild in the street. And there's nobody anywhere who seems to know what to do, and there's no end to it. We know the air is unfit to breathe, and our food is unfit to eat. We sit watching our TVs while some local newscaster tells us that today we had 15 homicides and 63 violent crimes, as if that's the way it's supposed to be. We know things are bad, worse than bad. They're crazy. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy, so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house, and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller, and all we say is, please, at least leave us alone in our living rooms. Let me have my toaster and my TV and my steel-belted radios, and I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. I don't want you to protest. I don't want you to write. I don't want you to write to your congressman because I wouldn't know what to tell you to write. I don't know what to do about the depression and the inflation and the Russians and the crime in the street. All I know is that first, you've got to get mad. You've got to say, I'm a human being. God damn it. My life has value. You might want to ask yourself why the entire culture is utterly saturated with mass media entertainment from all sides. bringing entertainment to thousands of people. Through its magic, we are able to enjoy a combination of the radio, motion pictures, and the stage, right in the comfort of our own home, simply by pushing a button and turning a dial. These cells with their electrical charges are scanned by a stream of electrons, completing 30 pictures a second. Compare that crude picture with these of today. And you can judge for yourself how far along the road to perfection television has traveled.
is a massive, massive uh, mass hypnotist to the global mind. And what happens is it is implanting a belief in reality by the minute. And then once we take on that belief implanted, when information enters the eyes, we edit it on the basis of that belief. And so um, what the global population is um, subjecting uh, or is subjected to, suffering from, is actually literally mass hypnosis. And when people, when we talk about people who kind of start to see things and see the manipulation they couldn't see before, what do we say about them? What do they say about themselves? They say, I woke up. Exactly what they've done. When people start to go, hey, I can see it now, it's like someone has gone along, like the, the hypnotist, and clicked their fingers, and it's like, oh, I can see it now. Mass hypnosis. And that is the greatest hypnotist on the planet, and that's the basis of why it was created. But when you start to research the uh, subliminals in advertising and television, um, what staggers you is not you know, what they do and what's there, but the scale of it. I mean, it's like a, our consciousness is being hit by an explosion of this stuff. Because you see, this is another interesting point. Experiments have shown that um, about one and a half seconds before um, the conscious mind decides to take action, move its arms or whatever, speak, one and a half seconds before it consciously decides to do that, the electrical signals have begun in the brain to do it. Um, for me, the conscious level is the experiencer and observer of reality but the subconscious is the creator of it, the generator of it. And this is why the Illuminati want the subconscious mind through subliminals. What does subliminal mean? It means below threshold. It's below the threshold the conscious mind picks up, but the, the subconscious mind picks everything up like a sponge. And therefore they are planting these thoughts into the subconscious, which then filter down into the conscious, and we think we're having our own thoughts, when actually they're implanted thoughts done at a subliminal level. And, and, and of course this is being used, um, this subliminal manipulation in politics. I mean, of course we had that um, uh, incident during the uh, Bush-Gore um, uh, farce of an election when an anti-Gore um, political um, broadcast for Bush, um, they put a subliminal in of rats um, um, while they were talking, but they left it up too long and you only had to play the tape back slowly, a little slowly, and up come rats as, um, as, as some anti-gore statement was being made. If you think about it, whenever you hear news broadcasters speak, you, you realize that their speech pattern is similar to the pattern speech of a hypnotist. The news broadcaster looks directly into the camera and into the eyes of the viewer. Another hypnotic technique. Terror experts are working around the clock to head off any new attempt to attack America. And they're concerned that in the not-so-distant future, terrorists could easily blend in with the U.S. population. Bob Moore now on Al-Qaeda's latest tactics. U.S. officials are increasingly worried that the next attack on America could be carried out by Americans trained in terror. Report that will be released here in Washington tomorrow. It concludes that homegrown terrorism is on the rise in this country, and one of the most significant contributing factors remains the Internet. But my question for you is this, real quick, Rob. I heard that on the 17th of this month, George passed an executive order that says you can, if you protest the Iraqi war, you can have your assets. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry to uh, cut you off. Uh, Balloon Town, Connecticut. This is mass madness, you maniacs! In God's name, you people are the real thing! We are the illusion!